All right, this is what we call one of those mirror record matches where you got a man who's got a 3-0 and record fighting a man who's got a 0-3 and record. An undefeated Rikshi against a winless Rikshi. And of course, the undefeated Rikshi is Kirishima, the Ozeki, going, uh, trying to mount a campaign to become a Yokozuna by winning another Yusho Championship two in a row. Uh, he won in November. He's trying to win here in January. Uh, Going to be exciting, I think, in the second week to see how he handles uh, Hoshoryu and, and Terano Fuji and Kotono Waka's on fire. Um, Asanoyama should get pulled up to fight some of these high-ranked guys because he's doing well. Um, so, yeah, I think it's going to be a very competitive finish. At least I'm hoping it is. <laughs> Um, you know, we have had two premier wrestlers pull out a Komasubi, Takayasu, and an Ozeki, Takakesho, pulling out of the tournament in these early days, but that happens, you know. So if you signed up for the contest, uh, know that unfortunately if you picked Takakesho in the top bracket, there's nothing you can do. You just have to go, oh well, and try again in March. Um, my, my team is like, I have three guys on my team who are undefeated, so I'm getting the most wins possible, and then my other two guys are completely winless. Tomokaze and Atami Fuji are, are both on my team, and they're both 0-4. and four. Then all my other guys, well, I, Kirishima's about to fight, I hope he wins this, he's on my team, uh, are all 4-0. Oh. and oh. <laughs> So it's like, ah! Uh, so I'm kind of right in the middle of the pack right now. I think I'm, you know, there's about 400 people above me and 400 people below me. But uh, I will put the link for the public standings page in the final match of the day. So if you want to see where you are against everybody else. there. When I glanced at the standings yesterday, there was only one person who had uh, was in the lead. Uh, he had 14 points, or she, I, I can't remember if it was a man or a woman, Uh and uh yeah so there she she had everybody undefeated and then there was like there's nobody undefeated in like the middle bracket so uh instead of 15 points i think she or he had 14 points but uh yeah so uh you know check that out if you're in the contest good luck and uh the link for the calendar giveaway is also going to be in the final match of the day uh, so if you just want that old calendar to cut it up and make some interesting decorations out of it, or you just want to keep it and have it as a souvenir, um, I don't write on them or anything, so uh, it pretty much comes intact. I did did have it on my wall, <laughs> so it has a little wear and tear on it, but not much. Uh, then feel free uh, to enter that giveaway, and one person will get the calendar. Okay. Midori Fuji, of course, very exciting Rikishi a lot of the time, has a lot of technique. He compensates for his smaller stature with a lot of interesting, uh, you know, attacks and strategies. So always entertaining to watch, but just hasn't been able to get a win so far here in uh, January. You know, he had two Ozeki on day one and two, Takakesho and Hoshoru, and then he fought Kotonowaki yesterday. He's got the third and final Ozeki today, so he's just, you know, meat grinder of a, of a rank at Maigashira 2. So we'll see if he can, you know, this would be an upset of upsets if he beats Kirishima here. And uh, then we have uh, Gonoyama going up against the Yokozuna in the final match of the day, so that's an interesting matchup. Uh, down in Jurio, nothing much to report yet. Probably more will come into focus as the weekend approaches, and we have one or two people emerge on the leaderboard. Uh, so, yeah, I'll probably throw up a, a Jurio match or two if, if something interesting is happening down there at the weekend. Um, you know, let me know in the comments. Are you interested in Jurio? Uh, do you watch? Are you, are you, are you kind of only interested in the, in the sense that well, those guys will eventually become Makuchi wrestlers, or do you actively follow it, like on other channels? Like, do you watch the Nato coverage or somebody 
to see who wins and loses in Jurio. Uh, yeah, I'd be interested to know. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, oh my God. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Amazing. <laughs> Look at that stack of envelopes he gets. Or win number one. <laughs> so very happy. Midori Fuji fan there with his towel. Wow, I you know, I was talking about how he pulls stuff out of nowhere to win matches, and boy. Uh, this is a huge upset. Uh, this is not a loss Kirishima wanted to have in week one against a rank and filer. Uh, and yeah, I mean, Kirishima is so big and strong and Midori Fuji holds his ground and he's got his arm wrapped up and he's trying everything he can. Gets in there, gets, doesn't get the belt grip, but works the arm. Wow. What a great, great win. I am really, really impressed with that win by Midori Fuji. Um, just perseverance and just knowing what he's good at and just working his sumo. Oh, fantastic. All right. So only one undefeated Ozeki left now, and that's Hoshoru. And I, I got to say, the other person you got to keep an eye on is Colton Iwaka. I can't really get his matches on the channel during the week, but I will definitely try to get him up on the channel uh, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for you guys. Because uh, he is also having a great tournament undefeated. Okay, one more match to go. Come on back.